On Monday, August 19th, a hearing was held for the defendants in the Amber Spradlin murder case at the Floyd County Judicial Center. Judge Eddie Coleman heard several motions proposed by defense attorneys such as the reduction of Joshua Mullen's bond and allowing Michael McKinney to return to his office to conduct business affairs during weekdays. Mountaintop News spoke with Floyd County Commonwealth Attorney Brent Turner to hear more. Of course, there were three matters on for court today. Uh, the first one was to do with uh, the bond reduction motion on Josh Mullins, and we had filed a response to that, uh, objecting to the bond reduction. Of course, Judge Coleman did lower it somewhat from 100,000 cash to 50,000 cash. Uh, that's not uh, totally unexpected given the charges. Um, the second matter that was brought up had to do with Dr. McKinney's requested hours to be allowed to leave home incarceration and go to his dental office. Um, we had filed a written response to that and I refer to that today in court and our concern with that was that he was asking basically to be in the office for more hours per week uh, than what he had been when he actually had a license to practice dentistry. And of course he said he needed to do that to run the business side of it and we just felt like there needed to be some explanation there um, as to why he needed to work more now when he couldn't see patients than he did when he was able to see patients. And the judge of course, um, as is his prerogative to to grant those hours, he gave him some hours that were uh, a little less than what he had requested. Um, and you know that's non-financial conditions of bond like that are in the court's purview and we defer to the court on that, but we did want to make our um, uh, opinion known about it and that's why I had filed that and made those statements. There was a, a previous motion to dismiss that uh, uh, had no merit and I think once the attorney figured out that he didn't have a basis for the motion that would uh, have a chance of succeeding, he withdrew that. And then there was a bond motion previously filed on MK, MK McKinney that was also withdrawn. Save for back to school on your own terms. That's forward pay at Appalachian Wireless. Get $75 off select forward pay devices on any forward pay plan. No contract, no credit check. Forward pay. We are you. We are Appalachian Wireless. Supporters of Spradlin's family and the Justice for Amber movement were in attendance to show they're still going strong. They're hoping that more information surrounding the case will come to light in the future. I don't see why he needs more time in the office now than he had whenever he was uh, a licensed practicing dentist. Uh, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens with that. But he'll be there from 930 a.m. until 5 p.m. and uh, he is on a GPS monitor so he has to be where he says he is and if he goes outside of that then he'll be in trouble. It'll be a violation of his bond so we just have to take it day by day and see how it works out. I hope that MK is not released on bond. I hope he doesn't get his bond lowered any. Um, I am hoping that someone will, will flip and talk about things uh, to make it all a lot easier on on everyone, and uh, I just want to see this see us get through this trial, get some truth out of it, and uh, see convictions, and uh, I'd like to see maximum penalties for the guilty. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.